uh, bring in Adam Olnut, who is the chair of the Young Fabians. I'm exhausted by how much the Young Fabians have done this year and publishing things just this week. Um, Adam, over to you. Brilliant. Thanks, Andy. Uh, and it's great to follow some brilliant speakers. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. I'll try not to cover a lot of what's already been said, um, but I'd just like to say it's been a real privilege to be the chair of the Young Fabians this year. Uh, bringing us up to the standard where I knew we could be uh, with my brilliant committee, a brilliant set of activists. I can't thank them enough for their activism this year. The Young Fabians is the training ground for the future of the left and a platform for young members. Since November 2019, we've held over 170 events, including a fringe of 11 events at this year's conference, the largest programme the Young Fabians has ever put on. We've hosted over 40 Labour MPs and Lords with countless other journalists, academic and notable, academics and notables. This year we'll be publishing eight policy reports on international accountability on climate change, how we measure progress, is it GDP or happiness of the population, the accessibility of the political ecosystem, the development of artificial intelligence in the United Kingdom, an analysis of the Metro Mayor system, a report on the upcoming Holyrood elections and the topics Scottish Labour need to address a deep look at the Labour Party's culture policy and our need to be better, and an alternative health manifesto with a focus on mental well-being. Pre-pandemic, we sent four delegations to European events, including a group of 16 to the European Parliament, the second last to attend whilst we were EU members, and a group to help build the youth portion of the European-wide Green New Deal. We are the youth section of the Labour movement that is the most engaged in youth European politics. We've co-opted on five committee members whose impact has been amazing, from growing in Scotland to a flourishing blog. I can't thank them enough. We've hosted the Young European Socialists for their first committee meeting uh, in the UK in living memory, with 60 delegates from over 30 different social democratic parties across Europe, and myself and my Vice Chair Carolina attending their Leaders Summit in Brussels. We've launched groups in the regions and the nations of the United Kingdom, and a huge thanks to all those involved. We have and will continue to devolve power and platform to our members, regardless of where they are. We will be launching an LGBTQIA plus advocacy group to speak up for our progressive values, stand with our friends and act on being a good ally. We'll be bringing together a host of constitutional reforms to ensure, among other things, we have a women's officer post that can continue to build on our connection with the brilliant work of the Fabian Women's Network and others in the Fabian family. The final piece to our puzzle will be a mentorship programme that reflects the success of FWNs focused on younger members of the Fabian Society who need to get the crumbs of experience and access to networks that can give them a leg up. We'll do this by the appointment of an honorary president and a group of vice presidents that include MPs, lords, captains of industry, think tank professionals and others in the political ecosystem, given their time to help our young members. All this whilst having a general election a leadership election and a global pandemic. It's not been bad. All this points to one thing, the rise of Fabianism within the Labour Party. As Andy said, for the first time in history, someone from the Fabian Society exec has been elected leader and every MP on the exec is a shadow minister. This is a game changer for the young Fabius, Fabians, giving us more access to the front bench than we've ever had before. And that means one simple thing, opportunity for our members. We can only do this by creating a positive environment so that we can recruit the future leaders of the left and ensure we hand down those crumbs of experience that become gold dust to build someone's career. We need more near peer activists putting down ladders for young activists to climb up and help others build experience with more positive role models, laying down paths for young activists to follow. It is that near peer element that is crucial in the development of the young Fabians. The Young Fabians is the best placed left-leaning youth organisation to develop, to develop the talent of the future. We are the training ground for the future of policymakers and influencers and the future leaders of the left. My call to young progressive activists is to get involved. We can offer you the development pathways that will help you become a policymaker, whether it's aligned to a shadow minister and their team to discuss a policy and get them to an event, the ability to run and take part in a wide variety of occasions with huge ranges of people. The networking opportunities that have come up this year with European partners, think tanks, the British South Asian Youth Summit, parliamentarians and so many others. The ability to contribute and manage the publication of policy reports that are held on file at the LSE. 
You just can't do all those things anywhere else. We're the place you should be to build your experience. Adam, thank you so much. Thank Our you. next two speakers,